Hey, Gray Elementary students. All right, we're back outside. Um, and this lesson uh, t today, we're gonna conti be continuing um, basketball dribbling, basketball style dribbling and ball handling skills. So you're gonna need a ball that bounces. It doesn't have to be a basketball. Um, it can be a soccer ball, as long as it bounces. And we also have a playground ball. So just any ball that bounces will work. The other thing that you're gonna need is um, dice, okay? So two if you have them. If not, you can, if you only have one die, um, then you can use it and you'll just roll and then remember the number and roll again. Okay, so that's all you can come up with, okay? So if you have it, we borrowed this from a Monopoly game. Uh, we'll just have to remember to put it back in there um, so nobody gets mad when they want to play Monopoly. And I don't think we'll if you have, with you. I'm not a big Monopoly fan and so Jacob is doubting that we'll ever play Monopoly, but we can play Monopoly. I just, it gets heated sometimes. All right, the other thing that you'll need for this lesson is a deck of cards, okay? So we're giving you lots of options. And for this lesson, we also created our own die, and I really should have um, used a darker marker on it, but we created this earlier, and if you would like to learn how to make your own cube, you can watch that video and see how we did it, okay? All right, so go get those materials, come back, and uh, get ready. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna review um, some of the things we learned the last time we worked on um, the basketball style dribbling skills. So we're going to show you just the bouncing and catching because for especially a lot of our kindergartners and, um, and even a lot of our first graders, bouncing and catching the ball and being able to do that really well at different levels, that's a good challenge, you know? And then we can work on steadily dribbling the ball and uh, using our finger pads. So remember those are some of the words that we talked a lot about last time, finger pads um, and pushing the ball. We're not slapping the ball, we're pushing it. So, but we're gonna start with um, our bouncing and catching, okay? All right, so now what we're gonna try is bouncing and catching at different levels. Of course, we know we have uh, different levels of our body so we have high and we have medium is kind of waist level and then we have low which is kind of like knee level and below the knees so you're gonna bounce and catch uh, high medium and low good job Lucas good job Jacob all right this is bouncing and catching at a medium level, so just dropping the ball, not pushing, just drop and catching. So for the low level, your hands have to be quicker to get the ball. All right, so now what you guys are gonna do is you're gonna practice dribbling the ball. Remember that's using your finger pads and you're pushing the ball. You're not slapping the ball. It's not nice, we don't do that. We push the ball consistently. Um, and we don't slap the ball using the middle of our hand. We use these wonderful finger pads, okay, to touch and control and push the ball. All right. All right, guys, just like you practiced bouncing and catching at different levels, a high, medium, and low, you're gonna practice dribbling at a high, medium, and low level. Okay. All right, so with all of those skills, you wanna try those using first your dominant hand. You know, it's the dominant hand is the hand you like to use a bunch. So if you wanna use your dominant hand first, and then always challenge yourself to use your non-dominant hand, you know, that's the hand we don't like to use as much, okay? So we eat, usually our utensils, we use our dominant hand. We hold our pencil and our crayons with our dominant hand, and we kind of don't use this one as much unless we're doing a two-handed activity, okay? So we're gonna challenge yourself to use dominant first and then your non-dominant hand. 
All right, now this next time you are going to use both hands. So you're gonna push the ball, like we did last week, you're gonna push it on the side of the ball, uh, not on the top, because you're gonna push from your dominant hand to your non-dominant hand. All right, so pushing from one hand to the other. So Jacob is showing how you're pushing the ball from one hand to the other, dominant to non-dominant. Call that a crossover. And then Lucas, who he can't do that, so he's just practicing, practicing his bouncing and catching or his dribbling skills. Hello, I have a friend that you guys have not seen in a while. So this is Mr. Bahrain, and he's gonna be helping us work on our dribbling and bouncing and catching skills um, while using math. Okay. All right, so earlier we uh, told you that for today's activity, you would need um, a die or dice. So singular is one, dice is more than one. Um, so we have the two from the Monopoly game. And Mr. Brain here is gonna roll those out. And then the boys are gonna demonstrate what you do um, once you roll the die, okay? So we're gonna get those put in Mr. Brain's mouth. And, okay. So there they are in there. He's gonna roll these out. We've got a four and a five. All right, so we have a four and a five. So what you're gonna do is based on what you are good at and what you're able to do is you're going to add the four and the five together and you're either going to dribble the ball or you're going to bounce catch the ball that many times. So let's see, we have five and we have four, okay? So that'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so we're gonna bounce, catch the ball nine times or dribble the ball nine times. Yep, ready? One, bounce it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good job, Lucas. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good job, Jacob. All right, so Mr. Brain is going to roll out a new number. We're going to add that and um, see how many times you get to bounce, catch, or dribble the ball this time. All right, ready? Okay, here we go. A six and a six. Twelve. Ooh, that's a big one. Okay. Move your hands so they can see it. All right, so six and six. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good job, Lucas, and bless you. All right, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 11, 12. All right, so now that we have demonstrated that a couple of times, you're on your own. You can roll your dice and add it up and either practice um, bouncing and catching or dribbling skills. Um, I would try to use both my dominant and non-dominant hand, but our next activity, you won't have a choice. It's gonna tell you what to do, right? So practice. All right, so earlier we had, uh, we showed you another uh, die that we made. Um, if you would like to make your own, I made a, a video showing you how you can do that using supplies you probably have at home. Um, if you have a printer, you're better off because you can just print out the template. But uh, we made this one from scratch. All right, so there it is. All right, and so this time, Mr. Brain is going to roll out the dice to see how many times we need to bounce, catch, or dribble the ball, okay? And Lucas is going to roll the bright yellow die. 
So we're gonna let Mr. Brain roll out the dice. Okay, and Lucas is gonna roll out the bright yellow die that we made, there it is. All right, go Lucas. Oh, get it back in the hoop, get it in the hoop. Roll it, roll it. All right, okay, so it landed on number two or medium level, okay? And the dice show one and a three, okay? So we know we count one, two, three, and add one. Then we're going to dribble the ball four times at a medium level or bounce catch at a medium level. So we have Mr. Brain rolling again. Okay. So five and three. And then Lucas is going to roll the bright yellow die. Go ahead, bud. Try it again. In the circle. Okay. And that landed on one or the high level. So earlier we said that you also needed a deck of cards. So Mr. Brain is holding those cards and showing you um, how they're fanned out. Now if you don't have a complete and total deck, it's okay for this game. You don't need to have everything. So if you're like us and sometimes you lose cards um, from playing different games, it's okay if you don't have, if you're missing some. Uh, for this, what you're gonna do is similar to the dice game that we did, except uh, we'll be using cards, okay? So the numbers are what the numbers are. So if it's a two or three or four or five, six, seven, eight, nine or 10, then they will be that value. An ace is one. And then a jack, queen or king will be 10. Okay, so we're gonna practice our addition skills using playing cards and um, You'll practice either dribbling or bouncing catching. And if you want to, you can still use the uh, other dice, um, the die that you made, um, or the other die. Just do the corresponding number, or if you did make your own die, you can do whatever um, you roll on that, okay? So Jacob is gonna grab a card. And Lucas is going to grab a card careful and don't knock them all out okay so let's see what they came up with Jacob put it down there where I can we can kind of get it right to see all right so we have a 10 and we have a can you put that down next to Jacob's card nine all right ten and nine okay so some of these numbers are a little bit bigger than when we were using the um, dice so ten plus nine is what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. All right, guys, that's all we have for you today. But once again, we're using our um, basketball. Uh, bouncing and catching or dribbling skills and then of course we're using our math skills today too and using our wonderful brains um, because in any sport you have to have a certain amount of number sense and a mental math skills because you have to keep up with the score and Lucas has something special to say as well he's gotten so much better because he's been practicing the past couple weeks but what'd you say I need I still need to practice he still needs to practice because he knows he can get even better.